Welcome everyone. So today we are trying to understand how to solve this particular question. This looks also very very tricky. So here when you don't understand how to solve this, I use the simple logic. We keep variables, variables on one side of the equal to and numbers on another side of the equal to. So for that we will first have to take the xth root or we will have to multiply the indices by what? 1 upon x. Let me do that in the next step because this is actually messing with our question only so here we have 3 is to x equals to 9 sorry equals to x is to 9 and we will take 1 upon x power on both sides now as you all know that whenever you have a raised to m the whole raised to n it is nothing but what you can multiply the indices so here you can say 3 raised to x into 1 upon x equals to x raised to 9 into 1 upon x. This is cancelling so I will have 3 equals to x raised to 9 upon x. Okay. Now like I said we will keep the numbers on one side. So again we will take 1 upon 9 power on both sides. So this then becomes 3 raised to 1 upon 9. And this becomes x raised to 9 upon x into 1 upon 9. Now if you see things are cancelling. So here your question now changes to 3 raised to 1 upon 9 equals to x raised to 1 upon x. Now see here if here, here also you had 1 upon 3 then you could have directly said that your answer of or value of x is nothing but just 3. But since here that is not the case. So we still have to modify something. So see understand 3 raised to 1 upon 9 we have. Okay. And here we have x raised to 1 upon x. Here can I say that here basically I can still multiply the numerator and denominator by 3. Okay. So what happens over here is 3 raised to 3 upon 27 this comes out to be equal to x raised to 1 upon x. I can even write this as nothing but what 3 raised to 3 into 1 upon 27 equals to x raised to 1 upon x. And using this, I am putting it the other way around because here when you have a raised to m into n, I can put it in brackets, right? I can write this as nothing but what 3 raised to 3, the whole raised to 1 upon 27 equals to x raised to 1 upon x. So 3 raised to 3 is what 27 raised to 1 upon 27 equals to x raised to 1 upon x. Right. So now I can say therefore value value of x. x for this particular question I can say x value is nothing but just 27. Okay. I hope this is very very clear to everyone. Now let's put this back in our question. And check. So the question was 3 raised to x equals to x raised to 9. So we have the value of x as nothing but what 27. So let's put it back in our question. So here obviously your LHS will be what just nothing but what 3 raised to 27. And your RHS will be what 27 raised to 9. Okay now we know 27 is nothing but what 3 cube the whole raised to 9. And we already know a raised to m, the whole raised to n gets you nothing but a raised to m into n. So, here also we can have 3 raised to 3 into 9 that gets you 3 raised to 27. And that, my dear friends, is the value of your LHS as well. Therefore, I can say value of x is equal to 27 for this particular question. That's it for today. I will see you in the next video.